Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, we're going to try to do that, even though we're going to be talking with Prince in the afterlife about politics. Now, if you know Prince Rogers Nelson as a person, you know that he wasn't really into politics, or so he said. However, he was really into humanity and to equality and to basic human principles of dignity and integrity in regards to treating people fairly and standing up for what was right. As you well know, because after his death, it came out all of the philanthropic uh, charities and things that he supported. So let's talk to him about politics, shall we? All right, Prince, come on in here. He's like, what? You really want to talk to me about politics? I'm like, yeah, why not? I just thought that that would be an interesting start to our conversation. Plus, if I go over, I have my laptop open here. I was just uploading some other YouTube videos on my vlogging channel, which I have a vlogging channel, Fairy Grasshopper, by the way. All right, so I am going to head over to YouTube on my, I see I was on Fairy Grasshopper. Let's switch over, just a second here. The technology stuff, he goes, I'm not, I'm not technology savvy. Not, not with this stuff. He says, not with this stuff, not with the computer stuff here. All right, so I am going to um, take a look at one of the videos that I have for um, it's called You Choose the Channel, and it's where people submit questions to um, encourage me or give me some recommendations for who to uh, channel. You Choose the Channel on Above Life Channel. See if I can find it here and get some extra questions. But first, let's talk about politics. So let's see. Oh, I got some good stuff on here. Looks like here. Let's open this up. So I have this ready. I guess I should have done this in advance. So if you're bored of this video, just skip ahead. All right, now it's going to start playing. All right, let's see. Okay, let's read some of the comments. Ooh, lots of comments here. Lots of comments. Okay. All right, so let's talk politics. And the reason why I say that is because I just talked to one of my good uh, spirit friends, and she's not in this country. She's in a different country, and she chatted with me a little bit about um, politics, just a tiny, tiny bit. And so I'm curious. So you know, he's like, America's messed up. That's what Prince said. <laughs> he just said, America's messed up. America is messed up. Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? He said, we always been. He says, we always been. We always been a society of the the haves and the have-nots and the regrets and the, the digging up the past and the throwing it in people's faces. And that's why I didn't participate. That's why I didn't participate in that. I'm not saying it's right. He says, I'm not saying it's right. I know how you feel about this. He says, I know how you feel about this. And I know how you felt about politics and so do many of your fans when you were a person. So now I'm interested in your highly evolved spirit self, Prince, as a guide for us, uh, almost an ascended master-like, although I know you don't like it when I call you that, but as a guide, what kind of insight can you give to us about our current state of political affairs in the country of the United States of America? Okay, so I'm gonna try to shift into the higher consciousness of him because there's kind of multiple levels we can connect to with any spirit, the spirit of who they've been in their essence, or you can click into this higher evolved aspect of who they are. Okay, so he said, it's, it's on you, he says, it's on you. These are the choices that we have made that brought us here. There's no sense in rehashing the past but it's important not to forget the person who you are born to be, be. He says, be the person you are born to become. Yes, he says, become. The person you are born to become. There is always division. There's always separation, segregation. And then there's always those who feel that they do not have enough. And it's ironic that those who have Oh, too much isn't the right translation. For those who have quite enough, enough to share, not all will or do, but those who do not seem to be the ones that are paying the price. To 
well, how, do you, how are you saying this? How would I say this? To support the needs of the many on the backs of the few. It's not fair. There's not a just understanding or explanation for this. Society, your society, says your society goes through many stages of growth. This is one of those times where the growth is painful. It has to be painful in order for you to take the much needed action. First, your mind must shift. Not to be fooled by the fear of losing what you have. That is a game that is played often. It's not about the scarcity of what is available to us. It is about the energy of the power that moves through us. The integrity of the mind is something you must covet and protect. This is where you will achieve greatness. This is how you will be successful. Not to be fooled by those who breed distrust. The division is what creates the gap for many to die within. It is a grave, but it's not, not a grave in the way that you think. It is a grave for all of the things you wished you could have done differently. It is an opportunity to shed the past and clear it once and for all. Your own individual unique past. Other people cannot save you. No one will save you. This is not a fight for freedom of a country. It is a chaotic distribution to force an up-leveling of your entire society by devastating systems that breed toxicity, that poison your pure connection to your divine source. That is a place within you that only you can provide a safe haven. It is up to individual choice of freedom. Not to react out of anger and fight because of past circumstances, situations, regardless of the levity of them or severity of them, but it will serve you well to inspire within you a change, a change, a shift in your thinking, in your mindset, and then you can act from a place of pure truth. And only then will you be powerful enough to do so, to make the difference that you want to make. Don't be scared of the change. Don't be scared. Don't believe the illusion of what you see created for you as division is amplified because that's how you conquer, you divide and conquer. Do you want to be conquered? Do you want to be conquered? Do you want to be ruled? No. You seek freedom. That comes through choice. Focus on the mind. Focus on your mind and the health of your mind. That is where you begin. That's where you begin. Okay. I literally feel like this coming ba way back, this information coming way back, like the pituitary gland, like like the 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 energy coming right in and through and I don't know that I've channeled or connected with you Prince like that 
for a long, long, long time at a higher consciousness level, a stream of consciousness. I think it's because we've had such a connection and our relationship has very, been very friendly and in order to help your people to really feel you, we've really had to make a, a very strong bond between the two of us energetically so that I could portray or share your essence from your human experience so that your people could heal and grow. Now we're looking at four years out from your death here as I'm recording this in 2020, this particular channeling, and it's time. It's definitely time to shift into that higher dimension of consciousness. I do appreciate your practical views on things and your unique to Minnesota sarcastic Midwestern humor, which will continue to come through, I suspect. However, I deeply appreciate your willingness to share at this higher level here today because there is a lot going on and I think that this message once I listen back to it because when I'm translating the energy comes in as a big chunk and then I'm trying to translate it as, it, as it's flowing I think it will be quite insightful quite insightful all right so do we have time for some questions from some fans let's ask let's see I'm gonna have to zip through here and see if I can find any comments oh you know what there's an easier way for me to do this let me zip over to my YouTube channel main page let's get over to above life channel on YouTube if you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel or like you can like this video at any time but subscribe to the channel because I looked at my analytics and would you believe Prince would you believe this Half the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. No wonder why YouTube is like, yeah, Bridget, I don't know. People just don't like you anymore. I'm like, what? Yeah, they do. They're watching my channel. Yeah, well, subscribers don't show that. So if you really like the channel, subscribe, please. I appreciate that. Then you'll never miss a weekly channeling video. You know, I, I post like two a week. All right, so let's find out what the people say. What do all the people say? Hey, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, get down on it bam. okay I am a person that has a strange sense of humor so that's just the way it is all right let's check your comments I do read your comments let's click on this I appreciate them and I can actually do a search you guys make sure you guys check the playlists I do have a ton of Prince videos that you can uh, watch, listen to. And if you're interested in actually channeling prints for yourself, I have a video on the playlist here at Above Life Channel where you can um, listen to that. And it, it's like a meditation to help you channel for yourself for prints. I have a couple of them actually. So, so that will help you. All right, you guys. So it's really important for you to comment on the videos, obviously. And if you have some questions for Prince or for other folks in the afterlife that you'd like me to channel, even if I've already channeled them, it would be a good idea for you to search the channel to see if I've channeled that person. Because if I have and I've answered your questions, then I might not choose those ones. So you'll need to like ask different questions. So you might want to do that to make sure that you have a better chance for your um, recommendation to be selected for a channeling video. So again, I'm gonna put a link below here to you choose the channel video. That's where you can put your comments about um, who you'd like me to channel and then submit five questions um, for that person. So that makes a really great video. So I wanna say thank you so much for being here at Above Life Channel. I also wanna say, be sure you like and subscribe to the channel. The purpose here is always to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. I hope we've done that today. And remember that the point is for you is to live your own life. This is your life after all. So take the information that you learn and live it. Just live it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.